Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. Today we've got a new video um, that we thought we would kind of do for you guys. Um, it's going to be on how to mic a guitar cabinet. Now over here, we got a guitar cabinet. So let's take a look. All right, so to show you the mic we've got here, this is our Marshall cabinet. It's got four speakers in it. There's two in the top, two in the bottom, two down there, two up top. Um, so basically we've got us a Sennheiser E609 and the best um, position that we found for this cabinet is right here and in the middle is the cone. Now you can see it's kind of positioned that way already. So I get closer here, you can see there's a cone here and this is kind of in the middle. Now you can do it off center if you like. So let's get back over to our guitar and we'll hear how that sounds. So we've got the Marshall all set up with our mic. Um, I kind of showed you where it's placed and how that is placed, but that's how I mic it. I just kind of put it right in the cone, center of the cone. Even if it's a, you know, a large diaphragm dynamic like the E609 is, I still put it right in there or 57. Sometimes I'll add extra, but this is just kind of to show you the basic miking. So this is how our Marshall here sounds. So as you can tell, that amp has a nice crunch to it. Uh, that is in the 20 watt setting. There are some other settings that are lower wattages, but that's in the loudest setting because we were recording through our Oxbox the other day with it, um, along with the cabinet. So we wanted to get the most out of it as we could. Um, but that's kind of how it would sound if you were to kind of just plug a cabinet into it with a 412 and just kind of crank it. Now that's cranked on the amp and has some different settings. I might show you those settings. Um, if I get around to it, I'll kind of go through how I set that amp up in a later video. Um, but this is just kind of like, how do I mic my cabinets? That's that's the best way that I can think of it is to just put a, that mic on a stand. Now that mic is designed where I could drape it over the front um, or I could put it on a stand like it is now. So, but it kind of gives us a nice little crunch to it and overall sound is, is not, not terrible to start out with. That's something you can work with. That gives you something to work with even as you kind of go through and create your own sounds. Um, in the studio, that's how I mic it. Usually, sometimes I'll throw a second 57 on one of the lower cones in that same position so they uh, match up time-wise. The, the phase align is the same. If you kind of start backing mics up and off, you'll start getting different phasings and your guitar will sound different. And sometimes that's a desired thing. Um, for room sounds, I'll back, I'll actually put a mic at the opposite wall. It sits on this wall over here. We'll put it over here on this wall and kind of get um, a room sound. Or sometimes we'll use our drum room sound, our drum mics that we got around the room here. We got a couple drum mics um, for rooms and we'll use that to kind of get a room sound. And it's just, it's just something to try. So maybe later we'll do a video um, of us talking about how to get a, a room mics to sound good in your guitar recordings. So if you're curious about any other videos that we have out there, go check out our, our, uh, our page here, um, our channel. We've got all sorts of things. And hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.